All right, guys, how's it going? Hey, this dog, he just follows me. Yeah, he... <laughs> how's it going? Hey, I've had a shave, look. I'm halfway there. I'm ready to, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Crank the flange this evening. And if you don't come to the streams on a Saturday night, you have no idea what that's about, do you? Um, before I start the video, uh, you know, I had a bit of a rant in my last one because that pissed me right off, you know what I'm saying? It's true though, you know, people are that annoying me, like, you know what I mean? Do you know what, right? I thought about this after the video, you know, like, because you question yourself. And I thought to myself, there's not much you can give back. Do you know what I mean? If you're the guy this side of the camera, there's not much I can fucking do. Um, but you know, like, there's Jamie Gilmore, for example. He comes on our streams on a Saturday night. I've never met him in my life. He's not a Cop Talk member, as far as I'm aware, right? Oh shit, I'm not allowed to mention the member's website. And... He's a real nice kid, and he's coming to stay here with me in my house with three or four of his mates. I've never met any of them, don't know him from Adam, right? But just from coming along to the streams and being part of the Cop Talk community and that, you know, I was like, hey, you're welcome anytime, man. You know, he said, Really? I said, Yeah, he's coming along. So they're coming to stay here at my gaff. Not, it's not a BB, &B. it's not an hotel. You know, I'm not taking money off them or anything like that, all right? But the Liverpool, he's a Liverpool fan, I don't know about all his mates, he's a Liverpool fan. He, he enjoys my content and I can help someone out. So I've got an apartment under my house, so they're going to come and stay here. Do you know what I mean? So it's not all about things coming in my way. If I can help someone out, I'll help them out. You know what I mean? This is about James Pierce, this video. And uh, I think you guys will be like, I, I know some of you will be like, we don't know about him. But I'm sorry. I have to mention this. And... Uh, I saw his post on uh, Twitter today, and it also came up on Facebook as well. And for you to truly understand this, you need Twitter or Facebook and search James Pierce, and then you'll see the post. Now, I don't know. Uh, he basically put a thing out saying, 33 years ago today, Coventry City won Liverpool 6, right? And then he included um, a number of photos, and this is one of them. This is, there's James Pierce there, look. I'm sure you know which one is James. And then, you know, then, then a photo of the game, uh, another photo of the game. Uh, and then like a little, like a little match report, right? Like a little match report thing. Um, with the formation, uh, Bruce Grobelag, Glennie Sane, David Burroughs, Steve Nicholl, Barry Venison, Allen, Hanson, Jan Mulby, Ronnie Rosen, Tally Russ, John Barnes, Steve McMahon. Coventry 1, V, he says Coventry 1, V6, Liverpool. It says Liverpool with the league title safe the Saturday before did not look that something. I don't know, you can't read it. It's, it's, very, uh, it's not very clear writing, but it's um, because he's a kid and it's on a form uh, and there's bits of it cut off, I think. Uh, and he talks about here, like John Barnes level through it. What was that? John Barnes put the Reds ahead in the summer 25th minute thanks to a cross from Glenn Usain. And then Barnes got his second before. Now, what I'm trying to, like, James Pierce comes under a lot of criticism, all right? And I've criticised him many times before, but not as an individual, all right? And what I mean by that is, if you're involved in passing opinion and commentary, uh, analysis, anything, whatever, in football, uh, if you put yourself out there, then you've got to be prepared for someone to say you're chatting shit or your agenda is this or whatever, right? So I have no problem with anyone coming on here on my videos when I don't agree with you on that statement. But if people are abusive to me uh, or abusive to other people in the comments, if I see that, I remove them immediately. I have a zero tolerance. I will not tolerate it. And I know that James Pierce gets a lot of shit online. And maybe that is justified in the eyes of some of you, you know, because you'll say, well, he, he, he's an FSG kiss ass or whatever, right? And I don't. I read all his stuff, and uh, I think he's a good writer. I think he's knowledgeable, um, and I know it's going to annoy you some of that, that that I'm saying this. Well, I'm not just, just because I maybe disagree with you know the way he operates in the sense that I I do think he gives FSG uh, you know an easy ride or whatever, and I have my reasons for why I think that is, which we've discussed many times before. It doesn't mean that I have to hate the lad or that I can't, you know, give a nod to him occasionally. And all I'm saying here is this is a picture of a young boy in a Liverpool kit. I'm sure some people go, well, 
he, he, he bought that kit years ago, knowing that all the years later he's good. You know what I mean, right? You know what I'm saying? You know what some people like on the internet. Um, it was 33 years ago, and whether you enjoy his writing or whether you think he's a, a condescending prick or whatever, he's irrelevant at this particular moment because I see a young Liverpool fan there, and I in that kit, and I had that kit, yes, when kits used to fit me. Uh, and uh, they probably do now, actually. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't interest me uh, wearing a Liverpool kit, to be honest. Because um, I, I don't know. I like, I like, I like to have hundred percent cotton. I like to be like loose. You know what I'm saying? Not loose like when I go in that bathroom. I mean, like loose. It don't matter. Um, what I'm trying to say is, whether you agree with him or not, whether you like him or not, he's a kid that 33 years ago wrote a little match report, and he's included his ticket there as well. Eight pound fifty. £8.50. And I've got like tickets like that in my box of sorts somewhere. Um, and he, he obviously went on to fulfil his dreams. And I just think if you're a young lad, young lass, there you go. You know, uh, when I look back to myself as a young Liverpool fan, I had no idea. I didn't know that I was going to end up doing a website. We didn't have the internet, did we? You know, I didn't know this was going to become a career. It's not a career, is it? Uh, I don't know. I don't really consider it a job. Um... If you if you are very passionate about something, uh, you 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 succeed, don't you? I, I guess so. I, I think that I think if you set out today and go, do you know what? I'm going to make a website about Liverpool Football Club, but you're not really that bothered. You, you, people are not going to be able to see the passion and everything. Um, I'm sorry, Rob. <laughs> Maybe my, my rescue dog's chewing a bone down here, and he comes in here. As soon as I start recording, he comes wherever I am. Maybe he thinks I'm talking to him. I don't know. Um, what I mean is when I'm silent on the computer he just goes to sleep but when I start talking to you guys he suddenly comes alive wait can you knock it off a minute um, so yeah I didn't I didn't expect I'd be doing this uh, you know through my life uh, but I won't have it any other way I love it I love it I love I love interacting with you guys but yeah we get the occasional numpty but they're quickly dealt with um, but James Pierce, you know, he, he, I'm sorry, guys. I, I know some of you don't like him, and uh, I am not his biggest fan because I just think it's not personal. It's just like it, the, certain people, writers, can be predictable. There's people that always see negativity. There's people that always see positivity. Uh, I don't, you know, I just think with James, I just think that he's. Um, Right, okay, let's rephrase it like this. Let's forget the standard of his work or whether you agree with how he questions the owners, what, you know, whether he asks the difficult questions when he should or not. I think it's completely fair to be criti critical of him because of the way he has responded to people online before, right? Uh, you know, the net, bed, net spend boys and all that and being a bit condescending and stuff like that. But unless you're on the receiving end of a lot of abuse and it can put you under pressure, it can. You know, like in my last video, you could see that, you know, that, that rattled me. I was a bit bothered by that. It won't ruin my day. It doesn't, I've had it for years uh, and it's only one person. And if you're constantly picking up your phone and it's like, fucking, 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 you're going to hate, you're going to hate those people. Now, the difference between him and myself, I would say, is I'm sure he went to college and university maybe got a degree in journalism or something like that so therefore he is supposed to be a professional i'm just a supporter do you know what i mean i've had no training nothing you know i've learned as i've gone along uh and the way i conducted myself probably when i was in my 20s and 30s i look back and i go oh you know you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have bit duncan because i used to bite you know I'd bite. i don't bite now i couldn't give a fuck now like that uh, if you want to say did I bite my last video, what I mean by that is I responded to my last video. It bothered me. It upset me. That that's different. What I mean is when my so I, when my haters were at the height of their game, targeting my family and me, I used to respond, and I didn't realise because I was inexperienced that the more you respond to hate, the more they will do it. So if someone's like if someone today came online and, and sent a load of abusive messages to me, the easiest option to that is just block and not respond because if you respond, you're doing what they want. So please, that's a bit of advice. If you if you make YouTube channels or uh, make videos or if you've got podcasts or whatever, uh, you just, you know, justify criticism is fine or constructive criticism. No problem with that at all. Um, 
you know, like if I make a video and you guys all come out and tell me I'm I'm wrong, then I have to think, it makes me think, all oh, right, okay, maybe I didn't see it that way. So that's good. It's when people are rude and abusive. I have zero tolerance for that. Uh, so yeah, James Pierce absolutely has conducted himself in a bad way previously, I think. But I, and I think that as a professional journalist, he should know better because I'm sure there's people uh, hit on the likes of Joyce and people like that as well. I don't know if they'd hate on him. Um, but you've also maybe got to say to yourself, why are those people saying that stuff to you? Do you know what I mean? Like, with me, I think the hate that I've received online over the years is because I wasn't from Liverpool, so I had that section we talk about quite a lot on here, and you've seen it against the people from out of town and stuff like that. Um, I certainly wasn't welcome uh, never have been because of that from a certain group of people. Uh, a lot of the hate I got though was from rival websites back in the day. Um, and I was also, also, like I've said, you know, started this optional membership before anybody and that went down like a lead balloon with those people. Uh, with James, I think they hate on him because it's condescending, you know, like he'll come out and say, he is a condescending something sometimes. Um, there's no doubt about it. And if you're watching this, James, honestly, I, I have no problem with you. I've, I, I enjoy reading his stuff and uh, he's very knowledgeable. I just think that, you know, but I just think he lets himself down sometimes. And I, and I think um, in defence of him, I will say I know what it's like to, to be under pressure and maybe go, do you know what? Fuck you. You know what I mean? I can say it. He can't. Uh, but anyway, that's all by the by. Whether you like him or not, is irrelevant. I see a young Liverpool fan in a, in a kit. It was a big deal for him. It was 33 years ago. He's fulfilled his uh, his career, his, his desire, or whatever. He doesn't probably doesn't give a fuck what I think or you think. Uh, and I and I it just I saw that by James Pierce this morning. I thought, yeah, fair play, mate. I like that. I like that. So James Pierce, that'll do for me. So um, I, I, someone just someone just messaged me and said, such a beautiful ceremony. I can only assume they're talking about the the king or whatever. But I will be watching any of that. And I, I I'm for it all. It's fine. Um, yeah, but I like I like stuff like that. So anyway, just try and put your hatred to one side. And, you know, you, I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I, I just thought it was nice. You know what I mean? So so well played, James Pierce. Um, yeah. When I read a James Pierce article, I tend to know how it will be. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and it's like that with other writers as well. Uh, and I, I kind of understand why they have to do it. I do, I kind of understand why they have to do it. Uh, but it doesn't sit right with me. But I'm not in their position. So should I really judge a man unless I'm walking in his shoes? I don't know. Um, but what I do know is that I thought it was a nice little flashback for him. Uh, and I'm big enough and daft enough and mature enough to, uh, to say it's a nice little story.